Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Annalisa and today I am doing the Road to El Dorado book tag created by Renee from The Librarian of Alexandria. I absolutely adore this movie and Renee is a wonderful booktube friend of mine so of course I'm gonna do this tag. I also feel like it kind of fits into the whole fall vibes thing because of the color scheme of the movie. There's a lot of jewel tones going on and also a lot of gold of course. And it's also very heavily related to nature and the coolest part of fall is the nature stuff going on. So most of the questions are based on the various characters. So first are Tulio and Miguel, the two main characters who are best friends who are thieves and scam artists basically. And so the prompt for that is a book featuring scam artists with good intentions slash a heart of gold. Renee I believe brought up the Six of Crows squad which is a group of criminals I think who uh, during the book are planning a big heist or doing a big heist and so I'm picking The Gilded Wolves which is a book that I really enjoyed even had autism rep in it and it is also about a group who has banded together because their only way to really fit into the world and get by in the world and use their own talents is to mainly use them for stealing. A lot of what they do is steal artifacts that have first been stolen and then either give them back to the people who originally had them or sell them back to the people who originally held them. And I really enjoyed a lot of those characters. Could you not focus on my books? I realize my books are beautiful, but it doesn't mean you need to ignore my face so you can focus on my books. And for her, the prompt is to pick a female character that is quiver clever, quick thinking, beautiful, and morally gray. And I don't know about beautiful because we aren't actually told about what her real face looks like, but there is a character who can change her face into anything and otherwise has a fair amount in common with Chell. And that is one of the main characters from Nocturna, which I am only this much through. Yes, I use tissues for bookmarks. This is because I have tissue boxes in every room of my house, sometimes multiple in every room. Uh, because of allergies. But anyway, this is about a thief, con woman, criminal, general criminal who does all sorts of different crimes, and a prince who band together to fight uh, Nocturna. And so the con artist thief is named Finn, and we only know a few things about her, but she has had some very bad stuff in her past and she has become who she is because of those things and now she is trying to change that. And then, well, it is not a pry bar, is a instance from the movie in which uh, Tulio and Miguel were planning to use a pry bar for something but got something that worked better instead. And so the prompt is a situation in a book when things turn out different but better than they were planned. And for that I picked Garden Spells, which is another recent read Yes, apparently I can only think of recent reads for this tag, although to my credit, Gilded Wolves was quite a while ago, like six months. Um, but in this one, the main character has a plan laid out for her life of how she wants things to go, because she wants things to be really predictable, because she was hurt a lot in her childhood and through her growing up by having a really unstable life. But during the book, uh, she gets quite a few things she didn't plan for, but they are much better than her plan ever was. I'm going to be telling you about both of those books in my October wrap-up, so you will hear more about that. Then another character prompt, Cortez, a villain that scares you to pieces. And so um, I decided on the multiple bad guys from the uh, Accord of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury series. The first one is Amarantha, and the second one is the King of something something. Very big bad guys, and the thing about the series is that the author makes her main characters super powerful, so the bad guys, in order to be like a threat to them, have to be even more super powerful. So I found them pretty crazy and overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Another possible one is the Shadow Lord from the Del Toro series. And that guy is scary because he's immortal. And you can't like ever be done with him. You have to like generation after generation has to fight him again and again. So you're so it's kind of worrying that even though you handled him in your generation, your kids and your grandkids are still gonna have to deal with this and possibly lose to him. Then there's the chief, a side character that helps the protagonist. And in this I interpret it to be like a proper side character and not like one of a group of protagonists because the chief is definitely not part of the 
three to four person squad if you include the horse. And for that I'll pick Quan from the Kiss Quotient who was the cousin of the hero of the story and he butted in when things needed butted into and was very helpful. Then we have Follow That Trail and the prompt for that is a book that deserves a sequel. And I almost never read standalone books so I don't usually have the problem of wanting a sequel that isn't going to happen but uh, <laughs> I would love to hear more from the characters of Uprooted. I got very attached to those people. So that is the tag. Thank you so much for watching and I will tag who probably likes this movie. But Ella from Ella's Novellas, Margaret Adele, Izzy's Busy Reading, and Starzy Rose. No pressure if it's not your thing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!